In the courtroom, the spotlight should be on the witness during direct examination, not the attorney. The key to a compelling testimony often lies in how well the attorney can help the witness shine while effectively becoming invisible themselves. Here's how to achieve that delicate balance. First and foremost, keep the focus on the witness. Your role is to guide them in telling their story, not to be the star of the show. This means that your questions should be designed to elicit detailed, meaningful responses that allow the witness to display their credibility and emotional depth. Imagine yourself as invisible during this process. The jury's attention should be on the witness's answers, not on you or your questioning style. This approach helps in creating an emotional connection between the witness and the jury, which can be crucial for the case's outcome. When conducting the examination, talk to the witness, not the jury. While it may be tempting to address the jury to emphasize a point, doing so can break the emotional connection between the witness and the jury. Your questions should serve as a conduit for that connection, not a barrier. The physical layout of the courtroom can also be used to develop emotional content. For example, referring to and pointing at other witnesses or relevant parties in the room can add layers of emotional nuance to the testimony. This tactic can help the jury better understand the relationships and dynamics at play in the case. Positioning is another critical aspect. The way you position yourself in the courtroom can either enhance or hinder the connection between the witness and the jury. While this may vary based on the courtroom's configuration, some general guidelines can help. Stand a bit to the side of the jury to maintain an open line of sight between them and the witness. At appropriate times, stand with your client to emphasize their role in the testimony. Lastly, be mindful not to block the witness's view of the jury. The witness should be able to comfortably look at the jury without having to turn their head back and forth between you and them. This helps maintain a natural flow of conversation and keeps the focus where it belongs, on the witness. In conclusion, the art of direct examination is not just about asking the right questions. It's also about setting the stage for the witness to connect emotionally with the jury. By adopting these strategies, you can become the invisible advocate who helps the witness truly shine.